If you have a cabin, cottage, second property, or even just a remote building, you've probably worried about power outages, heating failure, and frozen plumbing in the winter. There are many smart home devices out there to monitor these things, but they rely on Wi-Fi. And year-round Wi-Fi isn't realistic or affordable for a property you're only at for a few months a year. These devices also just aren't built for being in remote locations where you can't easily reset them. Plus, a power outage will take out your Wi-Fi and you'll be in the dark. That's where Cabin Pulse comes in. It doesn't need Wi-Fi and has been over-engineered to work for months or years without any human intervention. It tracks temperature, power outages, humidity, air quality, it even listens for smoke alarms. It also has built-in low-power Bluetooth with the option to add leak alarms, door alarms, and motion sensors too, which is all coming soon. Let's get this thing unboxed. It comes in this nice black box with a cabin pulse label and some regulatory information here. It's approved by Industry Canada and the FCC for sale in Canada and the US. And proudly made in Saskatchewan, which is something you don't often see with electronics products. Opening it up, we've got a bunch of materials here, a quick start guide, activation code, a sticker, and a big window sticker here, and some more instructions. Power adapter, and then here's the unit itself. Let's take a look at the power adapter first. It's a five volt, three amp adapter, cabin pulse branded, and a luxurious six foot in length. And let's unwrap the actual device here. It's pretty small, about two decks of cards and made of a matte plastic material. Feels pretty heavy and well made. You can see there are some metal screws securing everything. On the back we've got some more regulatory info and a vent. The front has the power port, indicator LED and the logo of course. Otherwise it's a very plain black casing. There aren't any buttons on the outside. There are two buttons inside you can reach with a paper clip to reset or to toggle the indicator light. Very nice. So that's the unboxing. We'll make another video of the setup process and do some testing to show you all the features and just how fast the alerts are. So subscribe and stay tuned.